नमस्कार सचिन जी हाँ नमस्कार काय म्हणता कसे आज के आय आय वॉज बॉर्न एन ब्रॉटअप इन बॉम्बे बँड्रा कुठे बँड्रा अच्छा नाईस कनेक्टिंग टू मुंबई कनेक्टिंग विथ मुंबई यू वॉन्ट मी टू से समथिंग अबाउट माय सेल्फ Yeah. I made a complete 15 page write up no 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 what no, no, we can no. talk <laughs> very <laughs> nicely <laughs> not that big it's not that big these books i was just showing this is the new one that is coming up here it's a novel okay. actually okay this is a very sensitive one that i'm writing right now but this is basically death of an author parting memoirs is uh, basically to do with what uh, some of the new generation of authors the young creative people you know they are getting uh, stifled Okay, so here okay. what is happening is is it's very simple thing is there whenever we are hurt or something we say are bap re yes <laughs> and when when we are sensitively hurt we will say aiga oh barobar hai one of my that is going to come only poetry i okay. have written a lot of poetry but then uh, i lost a lot of that collection in bombay when i was there okay. and later on i had that collected in a pc and it means that divine intervention that book my oh. is there and that uh, one of my friends had come to repair the pc and he formatted the pc by mistake are so baap i lost almost i lost almost 6 years of data yours is a multi faceted multi faceted personality meaning on the one side you are a black belt and on the other side you are a sensitive poet meaning that's a wide spectrum i used to do painting sketching also i still remember oh. in my childhood uh, mr dharkar i think so you are a photographer as well Ah, yes, I do yes. photography. Yes, uh, so many things. Is... Yeah, on Facebook page you will see yes, yes, many yes, yes. photos that I have clicked, and that is also one of the things that yes. I do. I love photography. I love, or I'm a student and trying to learn or learning the Sanskrit. I am also student of Bhagavad Gita and our uh, oh spiritual God, oh heritage. That is something. I believe that my life. I can't call it a comedy of errors. but uh, a comedy of choices in 1979 i read the book by dale carnage how to stop worrying and start living but that book changed my life okay and from that day onwards i had taken up that i'll be a author some day but it took me mm-hmm. 50 years to become that <laughs> yeah i am very bad at names i i i concentrate on the subject than the author mm. yeah yeah i feel the writer is equally important there is definitely no doubt about it but i focus so much on the subject then i forget about the author so suddenly when somebody where did you read i said give me some time i love to say <laughs> who is the author because i have learned if you ask me the subject i can blurt out the mm. whole book back to you so like sometimes mm-hmm. it becomes a bit embarrassing for me i am happy that um, um, uh, most of the readers actually are not like that uh, but because then otherwise they will not remember me and you in fact the books that i have written the, i mean all even lot of people ask me I have written all the Hindi books myself. Also, I translated myself. Right. Marathi, okay. uh, obviously, I can I do it myself. There no question. But it it becomes difficult because some sometimes yeah. some words what you some say words, in yeah, a particular yeah. Hindi, if you talk yeah. in Hindi, right. you can yeah. never translate it into English. Yeah. I will I will write for the love of my book. So we will have a really interesting conversation tomorrow. at uh, yeah. 5 o'clock and, i'm very sure and yeah. please don't slip into the marathi both of you don't gang up yeah. against me that was the three of us in our unguarded moments yesterday and let's see what we have in store in our episode of the show today namaste good evening good afternoon good morning to all our viewers on this lovely sizzling hot summer evening in delhi from delhi welcome to another episode of the show the guest today evening is sachin kate an author but before i introduce uh, sachin to all of you let me introduce the moderator and since he has instructed me to introduce him the right way so i have to be reading out his introduction vardhan is a science graduate and chartered accountant with over 30 years of experience in leadership roles at various indian multinational companies during the covid-19 pandemic 
he decided to leave the corporate world to pursue his passions. And what are his passions? Currently, he is learning Sanskrit and studying the Bhagavad Gita, driven by a deep interest in India's spiritual heritage. He has authored blogs on various Indian festivals, highlighting their relevance in modern times. Besides his scholarly pursuits, he is an avid photographer and enjoys cooking. Uh, I am yet to taste his cooking, so maybe one day when I am in you the are I'll do that. Yes. A strong believer in physical and mental fitness, he regularly exercises and does yoga. He aspires to write extensively about India's spiritual heritage in the near future. So that is our moderator, Vardhan Dharkar, for you. Now, let me give a quick introduction to Sachin Ji. In his own words, I am an author, writer, blogger, wordsmith, weaving life's experiences into the fabric of daily life. I am also a business development and process implement, improvement facilitator. As an author, my genre of writing include self-help, consciousness, awareness, motivation, precognition, premonition, clairvoyance, paranormal experiences, and divine interventions. Two life experiences, animal and interspecies communication, etc. So that is our guest of the evening, Sachin Kate, for you. And now I move out of the frame and hand over the proceedings to Vardhan and Sachin to take it forward. Over to you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Sanjay, for such a warm introduction. And you are always welcome to taste my uh, cooking. You are uh, welcome next time when you are in Mumbai. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Thank you, Sachin, you, you so also, much. Sachin ji, you are also welcome to taste it and try it. Uh, welcome to the show. Namaste to all our viewers in and outside of India. Come, Welcome back again to your favorite show, The Show. And today we are indeed privileged to have Sri Sachin Kateji on our show. Uh, he is a multifaceted and multi-talented personality. And uh, as Sanjay has described just now, we will really be having a very interesting conversation with him uh, today. So welcome Sachin Ji to the show. And uh, let's begin our conversation. So, so before that, very quickly, there are there is there are comments from Narendra Deep Kaurji, herself an author. Good evening, everyone. Mr. Dharkar is a wonderful moderator. An impressive Thank profile, you. Sachin Kate, such a wide range of interests. That's it. So please, please continue. Thank you so much. Uh, in fact, first of all, I'd like to thank uh, Mr. Sanjay Dharkarji and Mr. Vardhan Dharkarji, I mean Sanjay Chandraji, sorry, and uh, Vardhan Dharkarji for uh, giving me this uh, privilege and honor to be uh, featured on this show. In fact, it's a very big uh, opportunity for me to connect with uh, all my authors because I have not directly connected with them on video or uh, otherwise on any show. Uh, although I am there on the uh, uh, social media and I connect with them. So it's a fantastic opportunity to uh, share some quality moments with both of you as well as all my friends all my readers, my patrons, who without uh, whose motivation I would not be doing what I'm doing today. It's been a very long journey and uh, I'll definitely take some time later on or right now in a few minutes to go through uh, my journey from being a blogger to an author. And uh, definitely I'll, this is going to be a fantastic uh, session for me, which I'm going to be cherishing for my life. So I'll definitely look forward to this. So Sachin Ji, you are an author, you are a poet, you are a painter, you are a book reviewer, and you are a blogger as well. Maybe there are many more art forms that you pursue, but these are definitely the ones which uh, I remember. I know that you are uh, deeply involved into. So of all these art forms that you are uh, involved in, which is the art form that you feel that you have not done full justice and would like to devote some more time to do that. In fact, uh, in fact, that is the, uh, it's a very difficult question. Like, and it's very similar to when people ask me, uh, 
uh, which book do you like the best because it's like asking a mother uh, which which of the children she likes the most uh but i think creativity uh, it book writing or writing or painting i have been uh, as you rightly said i have been a artist myself i have been a painter i have been writing uh, maybe since 1979 that was the first time that i uh, got a book but the lacuna that came by which uh, i have been always discussing with a lot of my friends and authors is that it took me almost uh, almost 50 years to start actually writing as an author because the first time i started writing was in way back in 1979 when i read the book by dale carnage how to stop worrying and start living and actually that book changed my life it changed the way uh, or my perspective towards life and uh, i started understanding every nuance of life good or bad so that i could completely uh, work on what i wanted to do understand life in whatever way it is and uh, i started making notes at that time so maybe uh, unknown to me although that particular glossary was not there in my dictionary called uh, reviewer i had a habit of write, reading a book and making small notes on it and I had a very big uh, notebook in which i used to keep all these notes so uh, some unfortunately i lost that book and uh, so each of them right from painting drawing uh, writing all was uh, still like you know i could not do full justice to it it's only recently after maybe uh, around two or three decades earlier you know when i started blogging i started blogging well before uh, a lot of the social media uh, platforms have come but then it still took me around 30 years you know 30 to 40 years to shape myself as an author and present myself so that is where i feel i should have started quite earlier so more possibly i could have been able to do more just to what i could do okay okay uh, you have been blogging for uh, almost three decades now one of the thing that i wanted to know from you is that uh, how do you select a subject for your blogs and uh, how do you go about doing a research and how much time it takes for you to come out with a final version of your blog because your blogs are on very uh, in that sense technical or specialized subjects they are not uh, run of the mill topics that you select yeah in fact uh, what happened is uh, i had a, uh, around uh, a year back or so i discontinued almost all my blogs so a lot of people do not know at present which is the uh, genre of uh, topics that i have written i have written everything from uh, vegetable fruit carvings which was one of my best blogs a lot of people may be knowing it when you go to the hotels you find these wonderful carvings of fruits and vegetables placed in front of you and i started writing that uh, blog uh, quite a long time back ago and uh, uh, in fact i was shocked when it shaped up so well that it uh, it had a viewership of almost 2 lakh people from 195 countries so uh, and then suddenly i don't know means when i switched over to writing as an author for some time i uh, sort of uh, i would not say discontinued them i kept those blogs on uh, on the back burner so uh, for me what used to happen i have been a very avid reader on all subjects almost like uh, i i have done reiki myself so i was studying reiki then i was doing feng shui then i was doing uh, quality processes like six sigma which i've already done my black belt and uh, in that process uh, i had a uh, is i really thank god for that that i had a habit of picking up uh, subjects quite quickly and then i used to as i said right from uh, way back in 1979 i had this habit of making small notes and then go back even in college i'll, I'll give you a very small example why this habit came up uh, my mother was a, a teacher in uh, pitman's uh, shorthand and typing institute so i learned shorthand at that time way back in like in 75 75 76 along with my mother i used to go to the class and learn shorthand so it's a process of learning i feel we should never stop ourselves from learning something and i did not know when that habit of uh, 
learning short hand would come have uh, in good stead for me because in college what i used to do is at the speed of what the professor professor was teaching his subjects i used to write down all the subjects in short hand so uh, nobody would come to break up my book because they would not understand short hand so i used to go back and then again reconvert those notes from short hand to english so that was a in a way it was a sort of uh, practice to revise the subject and i have kept that habit right now even right now i have not i don't use short hand but i think so that is the main process i pick up uh, subjects quite fast and uh, i try to make notes on it and as soon as uh, i have come to a particular uh, level where i can uh, make it into a book or a blog or a post then i recreate those posts so that uh, i can share it to the public so i think so that's uh, just a sort of way of working that i have developed so any plans in the near future that you will restart writing the blogs or for the time being you are focusing more on writing the books uh, i do both in fact uh, uh, in fact i i lost i felt a bit uh, disconnected when i started uh, stop my blogging and uh, uh, like i said that especially that uh, blog which was about uh, vegetable and fruit carving uh there are i have uh, reviewed and displayed the works of so many artists you know the vegetable fruit carving artists then i had a blog called uh, art and artists which every possible art if you check out that uh, blog which i am going to review and start again it may have uh, contained around 30 non performing arts so i had studied all those arts and i used to feature those artists on that blog so i got a i got a sort of backlash from all those people they said why did you close the blog because we are not able to get connected or we are not able to read your articles and uh, one thing good was i i believe in one particular sentence where uh, you know you should always try and uh, it's better to collaborate rather than compete so i used to always work on that thing see uh, help someone out so they also profit and a lot of people like these artists because their products and their uh, and their profiles were shared on my blog and my blog was having a world over the worship of almost 2 lakh people they started getting orders so i was very happy that through my work i was helping somebody else unconsciously it was i had nothing to do and there were there so many people so they are all asking me to restart those blogs again so mm-hmm. i am definitely going very shortly maybe within 10 15 days i'll be restarting all those blogs so at least i'll be happy to get connected with all those hundreds of people who had been so in fact my blogs are because of them yes. whatever i written in a blog it was because of those artists and those people even my books i always dedicate them to my people and my readers mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. it is they who have inspired me and motivated me to do better yes so com- coming to your uh, books they are uh... on very different topics all the 13 books that you have written are really on very interesting and diverse uh, topics so yes sir how do how did you go about selecting such a different types of topics for writing a book it's something which is uh, really i find or i thought it going to be a very difficult process uh yes yes in fact that's that's what i said at the outset itself that i had this knack of uh, picking up topics uh, uh, ran- not randomly but i used to have interest in those topics and i found that i was always attracted to something with science or something to do with clairvoyance or some of the subjects were yes. uh, even not known to people there are a lot mm-hmm. of subjects which i have written are people don't know even mm-hmm. my book which is there on clairvoyance clairvoyance or divine intervention uh, people they said what is this clairvoyance so yes. <laughs> so it's obvious like even i don't know so many subjects which i don't know even the meaning of the word you know so that used to always uh, impress me that why is it that we are trying to put a sort of uh, a curtain over our knowledge we should always mm. keep our uh, door open to the whatever knowledge we are learning it is irrespective of the language i i started writing in hindi i started writing in marathi and then my friends were bengalis so i learned a bit of bengali so like you know i had that knack of picking up things very fast and i mm. think so more than see, being selective of a topic it was my uh, earnest uh, uh, need 
to keep on gaining knowledge i always think empower your knowledge as much as possible you may not be able to write about it always or you don't it's not possible that you can do everything together so sometimes uh, when you just uh, mentioned multi faceted uh, a few of my friends tell me you are a multi faceted and a multi talented person but i think sometimes i keep thinking whether it is a boon or it's a bane so uh, some you have to have that balance and uh, mm. as i said uh, i can only say it's god's grace that i have been able to dedicate myself to so many subjects even sometimes when i go back and uh, take a, i i note down all these topics and every time i pick up one topic and write something about it on the blog so when i went back and i found oh my god i'm just crossing 1 2 3 4 the page i have to turn to find out how many topics i'm writing about mm. but then i'm i'm mm. happy with it i'm happy that i can share uh, whatever i can learn is learning a mm. process is more important it yeah. is so i'm learning so much every day yes i agree completely with you that is one thing which should never stop till the time yes, we sir. are alive we should be learning that should be the motto of life so in the beginning you mentioned that for any author it is very difficult to say that this is the book which is very close to his heart among yes, all the books that he has written but i am still going to ask you a question that of all the 13 books that you have written so far if uh, you were to say that these are the three books which uh, our viewers should definitely read so which are the three and what are they about uh, maybe if you can spend some time in describing those three books definitely definitely uh, in fact it will be a privilege because uh, i started writing my books if i can just share my screen if you don't mind right is that possible yeah yeah i think sanjay yeah this is actually uh, i'm just trying to share my book so people can see which of the books i'm talking about uh, these are my almost got around 14 books on amazon at present mm. uh, nothing to be uh, saying but i am proud because out of this uh, like you mentioned there were three books that were very close obviously untold is my memoirs it's my life history uh, which was again translated into hindi but three of the books that really uh, touched me and have been connected with my life is uh, one book which i will just share in a minute this sorry first book was this phoenix rising mm. uh, it's an inspiration for introspective reawakening now a lot of people know about the phoenix it is a, actually a bird in uh, roman mythology or greek mythology which uh, actually uh, dived into the fire of fire and uh, came out again living you know so and uh, it came out as they say in their words it turned out to be a wiser and stronger person of itself you know a stronger version of itself so i have also applied that to my life i have always thought of uh, going into uh, if i made some errors or some make some mistake everybody makes mistakes in their life i i don't cry or crib over it i go and find out what is it that i made that mistake for and i correct myself and uh, like you say always when you are uh, you have that habit of correcting yourself you automatically turn out to be much more wiser and stronger you know that way yeah uh, absolutely the second book uh, the next book i'd like to just share in a minute please just bear with me yeah this is one more book which is uh, basically clairvoyance or divine intervention the narrative of pre cognitive paranormal true life experiences the reason i say this is this book is purely every incident or chapter in that there is no fiction in that it is purely true life experiences and today if i am sitting here and talking to you and if i am alive talking to you uh, it is because of those uh, very divine ex- experiences or uh, clear ones that i've got hints that saved my life so mm-hmm. i have actually written those incidents in these chapters each of the chapters is a live uh, uh, you can say recording you know or flashback into okay. those incidents and uh, mm-hmm. this has touched me the most okay. and uh, obviously the, these are all, all the books are there again like i said earlier it's difficult this book the last this is the last book at uh, i attempted on and mm-hmm. this is again like you said it's a totally different chapter it's a totally different subject like you said how do i study so many subjects 
now this psychic animal communication which is today has become a craze uh, especially in us and uk this is quite prevalent india people have started studying this subject a lot uh, because this is dealing with again the, as i mentioned in the subtitle it's a divine attuned uh, soul connecting experience like if you are having pets at home you will know how well they connect with you especially animals like if you are having uh, if you are having the dogs or if you are having the pets that are at home uh, we connect with them so well and people do not understand that this is a sort of energy bond it is called an energy bond because mm. uh, i don't know if uh, many the mothers will agree with me better uh, not that the fathers don't understand but uh, you know when you are holding a child i don't know if you have experience when you hold a small child you felt feel a sort of uh, tingling sensation or energy that flows mm. through you it is a sort of connect with god because children are closest to god so what happens is indirectly you are connecting to the divine experience or you are connecting to the divine being because uh, it's very difficult to explain in words you know so that same feeling we get it in mm -hmm. animals mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. uh, i can uh, even presently in that book again all of them every incident and chapter is a true life experience okay i have i have experienced sleeping with a snake beside me and that snake did nothing to me and okay. i and i i mean it, i won't say, express the chapter in full year because it's very uh, encouraging and inspiring for me you know and then when mm -hmm. i got up and like you know i connect with people who say it's not possible this is not, not possible i said mm -hmm. I, i will not comment on that you know because there's so many other mm -hmm. experiences like mm -hmm. connecting with cattle uh, we have a temple in uh, pune itself where there are a lot of these gear guys gear cows which are there mm, yeah and yeah. and i i have a very because even when i go there to the temple they say how is it that you connect with them so well because mm. if you know if you have seen these gear cows they have got huge wing huge horns huge mm. horns so one hit of that horn can even disable you you know but when mm. i go there i just stand over there and there are on 15 20 of them they are there they'll all come and collect around me and i go and stand mm. in the center of those these crowd nothing they will do and i just okay. speak myself i speak to them as if i speak to you as we are talking and they mm. understand every word even in my house i have got birds so i think so mm. it's all about uh, connecting with some, the divine being i think so mm. in all my books i have tried to keep that same uh, element of es or essence of divinity mm. alive you know if you read all my books they are till mm. now at least all my books are all true, true mm. life uh, non fiction books mm. so i think so i am very happy that i can share mm. my mm. life experiences with that's the the motto that i write on my mm. tagline also you know sharing mm. life experiences through my uh, mm. to the uh, diaspora of people that i meet with mm. so it's it's okay. a real divine ex experience for me okay so in future also your books come uh, i something which is completely different from all the other books that you have written the topics would be if we may ask you a question ki what are the topics on which you will be writing let's say in next 12 months or this 18 months <laughs> oh my. okay now this is where i think so i i have a lot of respect for my readers and viewers and mm. i am so happy that they connect with me so well you know mm. so it, i think the reading books or the sale of books or how many books are sold i am i am not never connected with i don't look at the sale values or how many books have mm. sold mm. i mm. look forward to the comments that i get from my readers mm. and i am i am uh, really inspired by them because they, they told me how like the same question how did you write about this subject how did you write about that mm. subject and i am constantly like though i think so almost 25% of my day goes in connecting with these people on facebook or twitter or linkedin and mm. uh, they asked me okay now you, you have done enough of your non fiction work uh, i can see that you are definitely have a scope and john right on writing fiction as well and why did mm. you not uh, as we know that you are a poet so why mm. have you not brought a book about your poems so mm -hmm. i am very happy to say that uh, uh, there will be four books coming up uh, five books rather four are for sure within the next few days Uh, okay. one is a totally uh, book in hindi 
which will be having uh, all the poems that i've written some of them very sensitive poems uh, some of them just fun loving poems but whatever mm -hmm. i could write so uh, this was again uh, suggested by one of my elders he said mm -hmm. if you want uh, i will uh, publish it he is so ready mm -hmm. that he is even ready to publish my book mm -hmm. so uh, that is a big honor for me you know so i, I have told him that i will be publishing that mm -hmm. book which is of poems Uh, mm. one book is uh, a novel for the first time i'll be writing a novel mm. uh, again that novel is a very sensitive uh, this thing story mm -hmm. uh, so i won't give it up because uh, even one word of that this thing will the tagline itself will open up the whole story oh. so that that's a new uh, this thing that i'm writing and one more book mm. which is very sensitive which i'm writing in marathi mm. uh, that is again a very personal level book where i'm trying to share uh, the feelings of a father with a child okay uh, because we always say like uh, we have discussed earlier also uh, with my friends also i keep saying that uh, there is a way some when something goes wrong or something bad mm -hmm. happens we immediately shout and look out for a mother you know mm -hmm. but when something we are scared of something or we are suddenly like shocked we will say like uh, although people will understand that much better they will mm -hmm. say bapre or you mm -hmm. say aiga in marathi as they say yeah, yeah. so i am trying to uh, uh, share my thoughts about the experiences that you also have with a father mm. uh, which uh, normally uh, we see a lot of uh, matter written on the mother with due respect mm. definitely uh, we can't uh, we can never replace a mother or what she has done for us but mm. then i have taken a different angle where i try to see that there is some something that you can also write mm. about and think about your father so i've got around four books okay. uh, all of them are in different subjects and one book like you said technically mm. uh, i will be writing uh, i am a quality mm. person basically i have done six sigma also mm. and then i have i have studied a lot about all the benchmarking systems or um, all the quality systems so how quality systems can help you in your life now this mm. is something totally new you use it in industry Yes. but people don't think that the same systems can be used in your life mm. so that is a bit of a challenging process for me but i will definitely try my best okay so that's a quite a big plate that you are going to have <laughs> and uh, all our viewers would be very keen and very interested in uh, reading your books on such a different and uh, topics and particularly i think the book that you are talking about on a father and son relationship that is something which uh, will be very keenly awaited now uh, sanjay if we have time can we move to a rapid fire round yeah sure a quick rapid fire round uh, will be in order perfect so sanjay uh, sachin ji as part yes, of sir. the show we also have a rapid fire round and uh, i hope you will enjoy being part of that definitely i'll be happy perfect. to do my best perfect so let's start uh, the rapid fire uh, round uh, first question choose one blogging writing books or painting uh that's a difficult one i think so i'll, I'll try to do, i'll try to do all i'll try to do some sketches and create a blog post and use those blog posts to write my book so i think uh, so that's, that's the best way i can combine all three of them <laughs> because my books had never had sketches so this time okay. i am planning to collect uh, whatever sketches i had done or make some mm -hmm. sketches and combine the three together okay choose one writing in english or in marathi oh <laughs> again it is a difficult topic like because each uh, language has its own essence uh, what you can say in marathi it sometimes it is impossible to say in english or what you can say in hindi Uh, there are some sheer shayari which you can never translate into english so i give respect to each of the languages so i think so i leave this question midway <laughs> i would like to write whatever my heart feels uh, okay since uh, you were born and brought up in mumbai you are educated in mumbai and now you are settled in pune so mumbai or pune at present i think so i would uh, prefer pune as a life to mm -hmm. uh, this thing but uh, i think i learned one thing from bombay is uh, you are always alive you mm -hmm. know bombay does not allow you to sleep 
Mm. It will never allow you to sleep because I have spent uh, so many years there. I was born and brought up. I only came back in Pune in '83. So mm. I spent almost like 20 plus or 25 plus years in Bombay itself. But Bombay mm. makes you a very tough person. Pune mm. is a bit a bit laid back. It's more, you mm. can say, for people who are uh, getting into sort of retirement and just want to mm. spend some nice mm. time. But uh, again, Pune is becoming as fast as Bombay. So yeah. I'm looking forward to it as hopefully it should not be as crowded as Bombay. Okay. okay. So uh, looking into the crystal ball, what do you think of India in 2047? Oh my God. <laughs> in fact, this is a very interesting question. I, I'll take a, just a few seconds more. Uh, recently, when we celebrated our 75th uh, independence and all that, uh, I had written a post. In fact, that post was shared in uh, social media as well. I have been very happy to uh, be seeing the 25th independence, the 50th independence, the 75th independence. And hopefully, if we uh, got the uh, graces, I mean, I want to see the 100th also. So definitely 47 will be a big uh, achievement for me, you know, because even if I say 47, like 20, 25 years, so I should be in my 80s or 90s. So we will need God's grace to be alive at that time and uh, see those dates. But definitely, I think so a lot of improvement in every feature, especially the literary feature this thing is uh, uh, affecting quite well. So I will be looking forward to many, many more books that I can share with people. Okay. Now the last uh, question, describe yourself in one word or one sentence. One word or one sentence. True to myself. Uh, that I, because I, I never try to hide something and you know? I'm very upfront and open and honest. So what people look, see in me, is what I am. So I don't have like uh, this thing. So I'm I'm happy with being, if if it's I'm sad, I'll say I'm sad. If I'm happy, I'll say happy. I mean, I don't try to make two, uh, two sort of uh, this thing to, okay. And uh, maybe some of it, I don't like, you know, because sometimes even when I'm, uh, uh, when some people are sad, I try to help them out and all that. So I just like to be true to my, if they are sad, I'm immediately connect with them and I feel sad. So it's a, True to myself uh, is, uh, I think, so the right word. Okay. Okay. So, congratulations. You are rocking in the rapid fire round. And I'm sure <laughs> that uh, Sanjay will uh, share with you a prize of our gift hamper. <laughs> <laughs> a bomb namaste. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I think uh, your question answers were really interesting and uh, rocking. So I, now uh, I sorry, go ahead. Yeah, please. Yeah. So now I hand over the proceedings to Sanjay to take it forward. And all my best wishes to you, Sachinji, for all your future endeavors. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. So thank you, Vardhan, for such a nice and uh, wonderful moderation. And thank you, Sachinji, for being such a, such a wonderful uh, guest on our show this evening. Before I close, I would like to read uh, a couple of comments that came in from our viewers at that, uh, when the, during the show. Uh, I do not know the name, so since it's uh, showing only as iPhone 5, so they said, looking forward to your book on father-son relations. Hope we get translated version in English as well for non-Marathi like me. And, uh, you know, Narendraji Kaurji herself, uh, uh, an author, and uh, you know, she, she retired as a, as a professor in English. So I'm, you know, I normally, uh, but I learned something new in each of the uh, episode that I have. So one is, she says, a lot of dedication and perseverance involved. And then she said, the word, I had heard the word, but I did not know how to pronounce it. Uh, a commendable oeuvre. So actually, I had to check on the, uh, check on the Google the pronunciation. So I hope Narendraji Kaurji that I got it right. Uh, is it Uvra or that we will share offline also. So it's a body of work and uh, th that's it. So with that we come to an end of our show.
I'll be sharing the recording of this show on my YouTube channel as well as on other social media uh, social media handles uh, where I'll be tagging Sachin Ji and Vardhan Dharkar wherever they are. And uh, so it was. It has been a lovely evening. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. Please do read Sachin Ji's books and do share your reviews. Have a safe evening. Have a wonderful weekend evening uh, ahead. Thank you all very much. Thank you so Namaste. much, sir. Thank you so much. Thank Namaste. you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Namaste thank to all our much. viewers. Thank, thank you, you to all the viewers. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.